Welcome to this lesson on single user mode in SQL Server. By the end of this session, you'll understand what single user mode is, why it's needed, and how to manage it effectively. Today's objectives are to understand what single user mode is, why and when it's used, how to start SQL Server in this mode using the GUI and command prompt, and finally, how to exit and return to multi-user mode. Single user mode limits access to SQL Server to just one user at a time. This user must have sysadmin privileges. If another sysadmin tries to connect while one is already logged in, they'll encounter an error that specifies only one administrator can connect at a time. This restriction ensures focused troubleshooting or configuration. Why would you use single user mode? It's especially critical for restoring system databases like the master database, repairing a corrupted master database, or making essential server level configuration changes. Additionally, if no sysadmin is available, single user mode lets you grant sysadmin roles to the necessary user or group. Let's see how we can enter single user mode. So I'll just go to my configuration manager. We can see the the SQL Server services here. If we refresh it, it will, it is getting the information. We see it here. I'm going, I have two instances, but I'm going to turn this instance into single user mode. I right click, go to properties. Then I go to startup parameters. Then I just put dash M. The dash M, when I, once I add this to my existing parameters and I click apply, it'll ask me that I need to restart the SQL Server. And once I restart it, it will be set in a single user mode. So first I applied it. The changes are saved. However, they will not take effect until the service is stopped and restarted. So click OK, click OK. Now just to demonstrate that it's a multi-user mode. I will disconnect. Now my first connection will be, so I will collect, connect using a SQL Server authentication. So this is one of my logins that I gave sysadmin privilege to. Now I'll connect with another user and I'll connect using my Windows account, using my current user. So as you could see, two users were able to log in at the same time to the server. Now we made our change with the dash M and let's go ahead and restart the instance. So I'll click on SQL Server, right click. Now let's try logging in again. I have restarted the instance after making the dash M change. So I'm gonna log in with my Windows user. This has this admin privileges. So let's connect there. I'm successfully connected and now let me try with my SQL Server authentication and you're going to see it fails, login failed, reason server is in single user mode, only one administrator can connect at this time. So in order to allow both users to connect, we'll just take it out of single user mode and that is as simple as you might guess. We just go back to MS SQL Server, go to properties. Go to startup parameters. And just remove this parameter. Click apply and click OK. And once again, we need to restart the SQL Server service in order for these changes to take effect. So let's restart the service. So the server has successfully restarted. Then we can go back to SSMS and try logging in again with a second user and we can successfully do it. So that was, m so I showed you one way of turning your SQL Server instance into single user mode. Another way is using the command prompt. So I'll disconnect here and I'll open command prompt and we'll run it as an administrator. So we can also convert our SQL Server instance to single user mode using the command prompt. So we're gonna use net stop and then we're gonna find the name of the service of our SQL Server service. And if you don't know that, we just search up services, 
scroll down till you find SQL Server. So this is the name of my instance and the service I want to stop, stop and restart. The SQL Server service. So we'll go here, go properties, and we can get the service name MS SQL Server. So and then we'll open up command prompt net stop MS SQL Server. It's stopping. It stopped. Now all we need to do. Now all we need to do is do net start ms SQL server and then dash m. So now this was started in single user mode. There it started. So my Windows user was able to connect. And I get the login failed because the server is in single user mode. Only one administrator can connect at this time. So we were able to put in single user mode using the command prompt. In order to put it back into multi-user mode, we just do the same as before. We just got to stop it and restart it, but without our dash M parameter. And now the other user was able to log on. This changed from green to red and back to green. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or need clarification, feel f free to leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more SQL Server tutorials. And thank you for watching.